I got into the 3D printing world because I wanted to print parts for my drones and I didn't want to wait weeks or months to get them from China or something. My idea was simple. Things like these ones, when you are designing or when you are creating your own drone, you want to test different canopies, angles for cameras, or you want to have different mounts for your drones and then you benefit of having a printer at home that you can do changes to those prints, create your own prints and then test and have it. That's the main reason why I wanted to have a printer but to be completely honest I had zero idea about 3D printing when I started with all this. So I did what is the most intelligent way to start here and I went for a brand that is known that it has a good support and that you could find a lot of support on the internet. Therefore I went and I bought my first printer, the Prusa Mini that you see here, checking of course that the support and that the printer will be able to print this kind of plastic that you use on the drones which is called TPU. TPU is a kind of special plastic because it's pretty flexible. If you see, this TPU can just bend all over and when you have a part printed in TPU, like this one, it's super flexible and it's super resistant to crashes and it works very well on drones because we know that drones are gonna be crashing all the time. In 3D printing you have all the kind of filaments, all the kind of plastics, like for example this one is a very popular one that is called PLA, which is much harder. I can't do what I was doing with that one and you see that it, it comes back to the form that it had before. That is one of the reasons why a lot of people tend to say that Bowden systems is, are not good for printing TPU. That's the main reason why in this video I want to show the difference between a Bowden system like the Prusa Mini compared to a direct drive system like the Voron V0 that I have here. And I want to answer that main question of can you actually print TPU with a Bowden system? But first, let's give 30 seconds to my sponsor. When you are working with 3D printers, especially the open source kind, you might find yourself wanting to print some circuit boards to complete your projects. It's here where PCBWay can help you. They contribute and have a close relationship with the open source community and have super affordable prices. Give them a chance and go to their website to check all the services that they have because it's not only about printed circuit boards. They have many other services that are going to help you complete your project. So let's start with what's a Bowden system. Bowden system refers to a printer where the pushing of the filament happens outside of the print head. So in the Prusa Mini, we have the print head here where the plastic is actually melted and we have the extruder all over here where the pushing of the filament is happening. Then if you think about again of this flexible filament that I was showing in the beginning, and you think that you are going to melt this point here, this end here, but you're actually pushing from this side, you understand that there is a lot of flexibility happening and the preci precision where all this melting is happening on, at the end, it's going to be different than if I grab this thing here and I try to melt or I try to push from a very short distance. The analogy, it's perfect for this comparison, again, because the Bowden system is going to push long, far from where you're actually melting, while the direct drive is going to be very, very close to where the melting is happening. So you have much more power, much more precision when you're handling this kind of plastic, this kind of filament on the direct drive system. In a direct drive like this one, you have the motor here and all the teeth and all the gears are inside here, which means that we take the plastic 
somewhere around here and just push it a little bit to the hot end here and melt it. You might ask, why do we have then Bowden systems? And if you're printing other kind of filaments that are harder, you don't have the same issue that you have with a TPU. And then you have benefits like the print head is much lighter, then you don't need a support structure for the print head as big or as strong as you might need if you are using a direct drive. And I'm pretty sure that there are other benefits around there, but those ones are the ones that have come to my mind directly. So when I went and I chose the printer, again, I read the, the footprint and it said that it will print TPU well. And I started to print TPU parts and I mean, they are printing, they are useful. They, they work as I'm expecting it to work. But if you look at close detail, if you get these two parts and you see the very details between the two of them, the black one in this case is printed on the direct drive system and the yellow one is printed on the Bowden system. You're gonna see certain small details that are not really perfect on the Bowden system. You have also small artifacts on the direct drive as well so none of them is perfect but in general i would say that if you're looking to just print usable parts like if you're not on a competition to get the most beautiful part Bowden system works the same way or similar to the direct drive i'm also very sure that you can get better prints than what i'm getting because with 3D printing, there is a lot of tuning that you can do. There is a lot of things that you can change. There is a lot of parts that you can upgrade in order to get better prints. But this is not super well tuned. It's a stock profiles with some changes, small changes on temperature, depending on the, the filament brand that I'm using and so on. But again, if I were to use this part on one of my drones, it will work perfectly. There is no problem with it. It might not be the best, the most beautiful part ever, but it's going to work perfectly. Also, to be completely honest, when I started with all this and I had only printed parts on the Prusa Mini, I didn't even feel, I didn't even understand that you could achieve better prints. I was pretty happy. Um, I even used this for a long time for a year or more than a year only exclusively and again it works it, it's fine the quality is good enough for what I'm using it for my drones there is no problem but when I started to print on the on the Voron Zero with the direct drive I saw directly the difference quality wise it's much better and the main main difference and here there are a lot of variables to take into consideration it's not as easy as to say Bowden versus direct drive makes a whole difference but this one the Voron can print the same prints in almost half of the time which in my case it's a very good benefit so if you think about it that this one is getting half of the time and uh, better quality then of course uh, there is a lot of reality there is a lot of truth on that thing that everyone is saying that direct drive is better for tpu so one of the main goals of this video was to debunk that myth about Bowden not being able to print tpu and i think i have shown you that right like this system with very little changes from stock with very little changes to the stock profile can print TPU uh, useful parts without any problem. Again, you have to consider the, the general or what is that you want to do with your prints because if quality is something important for you, then of course, maybe it's better to start thinking about the direct drive. But if you see, for example, these two ones, they are small. The reason why I chose this one was because of the, the space that they take at home. But this one has a much bigger plate than the Voron. 
which means that I can print on the Prusa Mini, I can print things that are bigger and don't fit in the Voron Zero. There are hundreds of different printers and each one works differently, but those are things that you have to keep in mind when you're choosing. What I tried to do here was to show you that Bowden versus the direct drive might not be a good enough variable to just choose the printer because of that. You can achieve similar goals, but then again, you have to take into consideration everything, price, uh, print sizes, the space that it's gonna take in your house, um, support, because this one doesn't have any support. This one has support. I call Prusa and I have 24 seven support. So all that has to be taken into consideration. But maybe, hopefully I show you that you can actually do both and prints on TPU without a lot of issues. So tell me, do you print with Bowden? Did you know that you could actually think, do TPU with Bowden? What's your experience? Can you get better quality with Bowden than Direct Drive? Let me know in the comments of the video and I hope to see you soon. Thank you for watching.